Hello, this is Decimal, and today I'm going to be building the Hypno DIY, which is a video synthesizer. However, I'm going to do a bit of a DIY to the DIY kit, and you will see why in a moment. Here we have a quick unboxing of the faceplate case, the main board, and for this kit, you do need to provide your own Raspberry Pi. Now, I spent about 20 minutes trying to fit the faceplate on the board without much success, but when I finally got it on, there was a problem. The jacks would not fit on the faceplate holes, and this pot was bent. At this point, I had a few options. I can curl up in a ball and cry, resolder the pots and ports to align with the faceplate, could file down the holes, so the faceplate will fit, or completely redesign and 3D print the custom faceplate and case because I hate myself. I went with option D. So I traced the faceplate on a piece of paper and jumped into Blender and redesigned the faceplate with wider holes. I gave some thickness to it and bam, it was time to 3D print. At first I used some clear PLA and it just didn't work the first try, so I decided to use a different printer and different PLA, and it was starting to look better. Oh my gosh, look at that beauty. It looks beautiful. A few hours later, I had the faceplate. Alright man, here's the moment of truth. Now it's time to see if this faceplate would fit, and it does. Time to jump back in Blender and model the new case. I made sure to put a slot on the bottom so I can easily take out the SD card, something that wasn't designed in the original case. I went to 3D print it and bam, this is one good looking case. This also might be a good time to test if the device even works, so I flashed the SD card, mounted the main board to the Pi, and tested the Hypno out. It works. The next step is I wanted to decorate the faceplate, so I drew a bunch of alien creatures on it. The next step is I left some holes in the faceplate for the LED lights, but I want the light to be diffused, so what I did is I cut out some of the clear PLA from a failed print and glued that onto the faceplate. I let that dry and now it was time to fully assemble the kit. and check out the completed Hypno DIY DIY. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.